Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing how to get better at scrims in three easy steps. So the first step is that we're going to be uh, looking over is tagging. Today I'm doing a scrim against Phoenix, Onyx, Perk, and Vex. Four high pro players. So enjoy. I'm going to be going over three. Tagging number one, running number two, and a little bit of game sense. Alright, so enjoy. So, to start off tagging, this is a 4v4. Uh, me and my teammate are going to push Pigwall. We pick up the tag right there because my teammate pushes him and he slip, he's forced to slip up into me. Uh, I see my other team trying to get this guy, so I get the cutoff right there. We're all looking around for the next player. We see this guy, uh, tall plat. So I'm gonna sit and wait, but my teammates ended up getting the tags, and now we're looking for the last dude. So, scrims is all about teamwork, so you have to make really good callouts. Everyone has to be playing well. So this guy ends up scaling up this wall. I'm gonna hard chase him, and my teammate <laughs> should probably get a cutoff, but he ends up being a little too quick. So now I'm going to cut off and my team is going to hard chase. So I'm going to wait here because this is where most people would like to go. And then I see that he's not going there. So I jump on wall and then push him in to my team. But then he's a little too quick so they can't get him right there. So I see my teammate is a little faster than me. He's going to get in front of me and now I'm going to go for the cutoff. I end up... Getting a nice cutoff and my teammate chasing him gets a nice tag. Before we get into the next tagging round, uh, this is a call out map. You can screenshot this or just send this video to your friends and show them this picture of really every where everything is on the map. And for tagging, usually like every single 4v4 scrim there is, two people will go like near ramp or up ramp and target the guy pickle or middle trees and two people will go well one person tallest or high plat and then one person will go either bagel or like apollo area and they double back wall every time that's how people tag so if you can find a starting spot in between those like areas you will be able to run really good and now back to the video so me and my teammate are gonna double this kid uh, middle tree. He ends up dropping in a blunder, and I get a nice tag on him right there. So now we're looking for the next dude, and he's right next to us. So my teammate gets a nice tag right there. So now I'm gonna go. My, I see my teammates are already doubling them, so we're gonna double the other dude who has no one on him. And he's gonna push, and I see he's slips up in the other way so i go over get a nice cut off then we find the last dude and our teammate gets tagged before he even can out next tagging round we're doing the same start we're gonna double the kid pig wall my teammate's gonna jump on because he's a little faster than me and i'm gonna get the nice cut off right there and then he calls out death wall so we're gonna go death wall he accidentally fell so i'm gonna get pushed since he's a little grounded and then i end up actually helping my other teammates and tagging this dude and now i gotta retract back to the help my other teammate so this kid pig wall no one else is pushing him so i'm gonna get on the wall and push him myself he's gonna try to hit back but i'm there and my teammate gets a nice tag now we're going into running in game sense running in game sense kind of just overlap basically so here i start uh, well, I like to call it my tree since no one else starts here, but it's like kind of in between everything. So I just jump over to tallest. So the taggers are going to be distracted by my teammate at tallest or somewhere else. So I'm going to jump over and I see that there's actually some on me. So I'm going to jump off, come over here. I can still hear that there's someone on me. So I'm going to just rotate away, hit backwards since he's going to try to cut me off and I'm going to straight line cut back I saw him right there real quick I know he's not fast to me and he can't branch that good so I'm gonna just look around look at my options I see my teammates tallest so I don't want to really bring attention so I'm gonna rotate away from there 
see this dude still on my ass. So I'm gonna do a quick cutback to get him a little lost. And I'm gonna just hit backwards again. Hit down in the blender since I'm better brancher than these kids. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage. Gonna hit back in the blender. Cross there. Controller DCs, whatever. Scale back up real quick since my controller DC. I'm gonna do this same route. Oh, and I miss on accident. Get a quite no nice uh, scale right there. Hit backwards. And my if you're like not tagged or no one's chasing you, you can also give calls to your teammate. It helps so much if they want them. And I'm just gonna keep branching on them. I should have saw them there, but it's whatever. Next running round, I'm gonna start the same spot and cut through the middle. So I can have no one on me off rip, hopefully. So they see my teammate tallest and they're gonna double him. So I'm gonna head over to high plat, but I see my teammates also going to high plat, so I'm gonna rotate away. And I think that kid started chasing me because he accidentally saw me last second. Yep, so I look back midair to see him. I'm gonna do some quick branch routes to hopefully get him off my ass. And usually people go under that ramp right there, so I knew he was gonna try to expect that, so I went above. And I'm going, I'm gonna stick and blunder. I see that kid over there. And usually I do a different route, but I think they would probably expect it, so I just accidentally cut back there. They're all slower than me, so I shouldn't have cut back. So now I'm doing the same start as I always. And none of my teammates are tallest, but one is stump. So I'm gonna kind of sit around, look around where my options are. And I'm gonna give some call outs to my teammates since no one really on me right now. And I'm trying to rotate away from my teammates so they have free room to tag. One's a, one ended up chasing me right here. So I'm gonna branch. Cut back real quick. And cut back again. Sit down. But as you can see, I'm staying in quick, short branches and then rotating away. That's basically my play style is to get them lost with quick branches. So I hit into treehouse, hopefully losing. They all go on my teammate. So after I see they all go on my teammate, I'm going to rotate away. So I have as much distance and get more time. I'm going to keep rotating away. I see that none of them are hard chasing me, so I'm going to hit backwards back again and then I'm gonna uh, thread the needle stay in branches and I'm gonna uh, get a nice rotation away here and then I make a quick cut back right there hopefully losing them and then I make another cut back since I knew they were gonna cut me off but I'm getting tagged and now I'm gonna start at the same spot he sees me but he still doesn't care because he's gonna double the guy tallest and I'm gonna get a nice little in between of them. And that kid, I don't know why, but he switched on me. And now there's two on me. So I'll make a quick cut cut around that little light pole. Make a quick seagull. And I get stuck right there accidentally. And I end up doing sticky hands, which I end up doing tag because I'm not really that fast on ground. But yeah. So anyways, you have to find your own play style. Oh, accidentally fell right there. I'm gonna make some quick branches since they have first boost. Quick branches, quick like cut arounds, quick like cutbacks and stuff will work most of the time against first boost. And yeah, as I was saying, my technique of branches is really just staying in blender, make quick routes and Kind of rotating away after I lose them so it creates as much time as possible for my running round so I have game sense right there I'm gonna see him see that he's gonna hit over and see he was gonna predict me at second tallest right there but I cut backwards because I knew he was gonna do that and I tried going under there but I couldn't I know I could outrun that kid for that long I honestly didn't know that kid was up there and this is one of my most famous routes I do. Right there, and then I'm gonna rotate. See all my teammate is right there. So I'm gonna hit backwards, get away from my teammate. 
so he can get more running time by himself. And I'm going to hit up, cut back down to Blunder. You can see me do this route so many times. It worked so many times in the scrim. And I'm going to rotate away, trying to keep an eye on my teammate so I don't rotate into him, kind of. And they both end up falling, and I get tagged, sadly. But as I was saying, you have to find your own play style. Really what works for me, if you're like a brancher, is just rotating, like knowing where to rotate. Knowing how they're going to cut you off. Knowing how they're going to hard chase you. Knowing where everyone is. Knowing where your teammate is. And if you're a wall player, wall rotations, slip slaps, knowing like different slip slap techniques is really going to help with you in the game. And with tagging, um, doubling always works. But if you're a really good tagger, you can also, oh, uh, what's it called? Tag by yourself. So someone will always hard chase and someone cuts off. That's really how you tag people. But if it's like a 3v1 or a 4v1 and you're four tagging one person, uh, you should probably have like one hard chaser, two people cutting off, and one person sitting above. That's probably the best way to tag a 4v1. And yeah, hope this video helps. Have a good day. And keep updated with subscribing to me. I'll make more.